Hello and welcome to Avoiding Big Brother. Today I want to discuss alternative cryptocurrencies that might be better for private transactions than Bitcoin. I've stated this before on the channel, but I'll say it again that Bitcoin does not offer you a great level of privacy. Now I have replied to comments and said that there may be wallets and exchanges for Bitcoin that do not require identification. However, there won't be many, if at all. I always thought Bitcoin provided anonymity because hackers use it, especially for ransom payments, but I found out that they only use Bitcoin because of the ease with which to turn funds into Bitcoin, making it easier for victims to comply and pay the ransom quickly. The problem for users of Bitcoin is that all transactions are recorded on the blockchain technology, meaning that anyone can view them. Most people are not concerned about this and do not value their privacy. The only way to hide transactions with Bitcoin is to obfuscate through a method known as coin mixing. But this is a pretty tricky thing to do, requiring the mixing of two or more transactions and the inclusion of decoy transactions. The multiple transactions show up on the blockchain as one big transaction, but listing all of the senders, receivers and amounts. Not the best for privacy, but someone viewing the transaction will not know who has sent what to whom. But there are alternatives to Bitcoin that might suit your needs for private transactions, and they fall under the term privacy coins. And privacy coins will obscure transactions on their blockchain to provide anonymity. I thought I would do further research on privacy coin, and I'll cover the currency known as Monero in this video. Monero is just one example of privacy coin. Others include Zcash, Dash and Horizon, and there are more. Perhaps I will do further videos on these currencies. I think Edward Snowden had something to do with the creation of Zcash. It is important to note that in some countries, such as South Korea and Japan, privacy coins are banned due to money laundering regulations and the potential for financial crime and terrorist funding. China has declared all cryptocurrency transactions are illegal. It is still legal in the US and the UK, I believe, but you can bet your life savings that governments are trying to regulate all cryptocurrencies available on the markets, not just Bitcoin. I predict that the markets for cryptocurrency will be ever-changing. A new currency will become available, offering anonymity, and then governments crack down on it and it is forced to be transparent. This means that a trader has to seek another currency to fulfill their privacy requirement. The demand for privacy on blockchains is pushed more by businesses rather than an individual. Businesses seek privacy to guard against competitors or hackers if they are in an industry prone to cyber attacks. Hackers are always looking for targets that trade huge amounts. This might be something that an organisation wants to hide. Let's say two large corporations, Amazon and Apple for example, want to make a large transaction. They are not going to want the rest of the world knowing about it. It is large organisations that have created the demand for a whole new segment of blockchain technology that is focused on privacy. Today I will take a look at what Monero has to offer and what its blockchain can do in terms of your privacy. This is not a personal recommendation. There are things that you'll have to think about before choosing a service like Monero. There are some vulnerabilities that you should know. Monero does seem to be at the top as the best for privacy on many blogs and videos posted about privacy coin. Monero is a decentralized cryptocurrency. This means that traders can deal with each other directly. There is no need for a centralized marketplace or exchange for a trade to go through. Monero does use a publicly available ledger that is decentralized, but the transaction details are all obfuscated. So Monero is offering the ability to obfuscate transactions providing anonymity, whilst at the same time providing traders the ability to easily exchange interchangeable units of currency. The privacy protocol adopted by Monero is based on CryptoNote, a cryptography that uses ring signatures, zero knowledge proof and stealth addresses. A ring signature groups a sender's address with other addresses. Zero knowledge proof is a method which can guarantee a transaction occurred without revealing its value and users can generate stealth addresses to receive funds that are untraceable to the owner by an outside observer. So Monero have put some effort into privacy enhancing technology for its blockchain. But Monero, by its own admission on the website, does have vulnerabilities, so there is a concern for security with this privacy service. There is a link from the Monero FAQ section of the site that takes you to a series of videos. 
These videos highlight the vulnerabilities connected with various technical parts of the blockchain. And if we go back now to Monero's website, there is also a link to a GitHub page that seems to be offering information on Monero's bug bounty program. So Monero is actively recruiting volunteer hackers and researchers to test its blockchain technology and report any issues found. This is always my concern about using cryptocurrency. It is not the privacy aspect that worries me, but security. I hear plenty of stories of people successfully trading in cryptocurrency, but I also hear plenty of bad news where someone is a victim of hackers and loses lots of coins. Anyway, that is a look at Monero, just one of the privacy coin services out there. I will probably take a look at Zcash next. I've heard this is not as good for private transactions as Monero, but seeing as privacy advocate Edward Snowden was involved in the project, I might as well take a look at its technology. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.